I kid you not, and you know who put me on game? And then oh. you'll probably even trip out even more. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so good. Wow. This is what you call a masterpiece. Yeah. You know who put me on game? With butter pecan and pistachio ice cream, oh. which is top tier God level. God will not share 100%. that ice cream. Yeah. My your mother. Mom, my mom likes it too. <sighs> Does your mom like it? Uh, no, okay. but uh, she does, but she knows that I love it. Um, but somebody who does is my dad. Okay. But we don't have to talk about him right now, all right? Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> but butter pecan ice cream. Yes. And pistachio ice yeah. cream yeah. from yeah. Thrifties. Yes. It's God tier. And Hagen Dazs too. Hagen Dazs too. Okay, Thrifties, ha the butter, uh, the pistachio Haagen -Dazs, one. You got money for that one. Come on, girl, we bought it right here. We <laughs> ball out here. I couldn't, I couldn't get that ice cream growing up. We had to go with Thrifties or Rite Aid ice cream. <laughs> Thrifties hits though. It's to the this day. To this best. day. I'm in here. They're just always like, every time I go to a Rite Aid, no one's working. Ice cream For real. Sold out. Yeah, shit's whack. So I don't know what's going on. And they would give you the ice cream in that like that little circular kind of yeah. upward I scoop. It. Like a, no way. It's like a pistola. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah she's we like, we it. have one, yeah. That's just dope. Never used it. <laughs> yeah, never. Um, but what about you? Favorite ice cream? Go. Guilty pleasure, favorite ice cream. Go, team, go. Ben and Jerry's half baked. Bomb. And I'm going to get myself a little pint too. And I'm going to eat it all. They eat the whole thing. The whole thing. I, I just fucked one up the other day, remember? Half of it, gone. Wow. One night. While I was watching Bruce Almighty, I'm gonna call y'all out right night. now. I'm gonna call y'all out all night right now for drinking this 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 bullshit <laughs> energy drink. Shout out to Full Coverage. Oh, I went yeah, into yeah, their yeah. stock room and I took this. Yeah. thank you so much because we need some energy. That's true. Thank you, Miss Wiggles. Thank you, Manny. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Mr. Wiggles. Mr. <laughs> Mrs. Wiggles. Uh, first of all, yes. a uh huh. You know I rep. I know hard. you do. I know you do. This morning, but I feel like it would do. It would. This morning, it wouldn't be just. It would. Uh, it would have yeah. justice if I didn't call you guys out. Even call though me I out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. You know. Well, well, you saw this morning. I did on the taste of Lou. I don't know who runs that Instagram. I know y'all popping. You probably got people working for you. You know, we got multiple people, right? <laughs> but I posted and y'all reposted that I was drinking a salute. Our flavor, La Platica's flavor, Sandia on God the golf course. Tier, God tier on the golf course yeah. with a cold ass water. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Wife, tell him something. <laughs> What? I don't know what's going well, say on. say something. We're here. We're here. We're ready to go. Back Karen, to back, back to back. What? Wow. What? Are you part of the Lakers? <laughs> back to back? What is this, man? I'm shocked we're here. Yeah, this is good, though, because this is going to put us back on track. Yes. And people love the last episode. And it only makes sense that we do a part two. I agree. I agree. Wife, glasses on or glasses off? I actually like the glasses on. I know you didn't ask oh, me, but looking, yeah, as your they, podcast boyfriend, I'm going to go they on. They look good. The last one you didn't okay. have them. No, what about... And it matches uh, your shirt, too. It's a vibe. Halftime glasses, the other halftime, no glasses. I like that. I yeah, switch okay. it up. Cool. Welcome to episode 97. Wow. Um, you can listen to us on Spotify or Apple Podcasts if you really think we're hideous. You don't want to see us <laughs> or you think we're annoying. But please don't but, tell us that if you feel that way. By yeah, way. but I thought <laughs> that's the case. We're sensitive. Subscribe to the channel. Let us know who you are. But if you're new to this channel, to this podcast, let us know your name on the comments down below. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Sebastian. This is the Josh Lewa. Yes, sir. And today, back to back, if wow. you guys didn't see the last episode 96, <laughs> we got Karen Robles in the ooh, building ooh, again. What's Dang. up, guys? What's <laughs> up? How are you feeling? Again. I'm feeling good. You want to be like part, you know? No. <laughs> 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 I love it. I know. I was like, please say yes. <laughs> <Just> please say <laughs> <laughs> No, you guys are good on your own. Your guys' duo. Yeah. We're good. I know. Check my lipstick today. Yeah. Thank you guys. I think we're good. Everybody good. Yeah, everybody <laughs> on the comments down below, they were like, um, Josh, a real one for telling uh, Karen. <laughs> he about would it. never oh, you kept it in? Yeah. He, he would never know. <laughs> I would. I didn't see it. I'm over yeah. here. No, I literally can only see this. Sebas is the type to, we'll be having dinner. Yeah. And like my hair will be sticking up or something, and he won't tell me. Come on, see, Baz, you got to be better about it, my boy. Attention, attention to, to detail. I'm sorry, you have beautiful eyes, and I get mesmerized. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Okay, I'll let it slide. That's fair, my boy. I'll let it slide. So episode 97, damn, almost broke the mic. Welcome everybody. Thank you so much for tuning into La Platiquita once again. Uh, we're very happy to be here. Once again, thank you so much for the last episode. Beautiful. Um, I flipped that one really quick. I was actually really interested. I was editing it and I was like, wow, this is a really, really good podcast. Mm. But today's going to be, I think, even better because we told you guys back at home on La Platica Pod, Instagram. And if you don't follow us, follow it because trust me, we get really interactive. <sighs> we do. We do. Um, we asked you guys that there's going to be a part two with the one and only, the beautiful I love Sarah Lee. 
And <laughs> don't start that, bro. Because we're gonna, they're gonna keep butchering it. <laughs> That's her nickname. She no, knows I call her. You've been calling Sarah. me that for so oh. long, Sarah Lee, Sarah like the Lee. bread. Oh yeah. And, and, I, and I listen. I'm like, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, Sarah Lee. I think it's kind of cute. Yeah, it's kind of um, cute. There's a bunch of nicknames I have for you, for her. Um, but yeah, so we told you guys. Now it's your turn. You ask the questions. Because last episode, I kind of wanted a POV of kind of like, um, you know, POV of the wedding. What you did. Yeah. Just kind of like inside inside whatever mm -hmm. comes into your head. Yeah. Spit Listen, it out. Exactly. exactly. But now, thanks to you guys. And this is the reason why I asked you guys, because you guys always have such good questions. I screenshotted a buttload. Not a bunch. A buttload. Wow. That's more than a bunch. Yeah. And they're really good. So thank you guys. So we're going to answer those today. Is that okay with you, Kim? Let's go. And they're really good. All right, I'm ready. But before we do all that, <laughs> I told you I was going to get you something, Josh. Well, I told you. <laughs> you you have that. been so important to me before the podcast. Wait, You've always been right my now? friend. <laughs> yes. We got to get into it, right? <laughs> You've been my friend for such a long time. Yeah. You've helped this podcast grow tremendously. Dynamic duo. I, I don't, you have, you're a type of guy that has everything in the world. Well, <laughs> you have everything, not only looks, appearances, huge muscles, <laughs> broad, broad shoulders. <laughs> Don't get shot because my wife's here, G. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, what can I get, Josh? So I really hope that you like this gift that I got you. You got me a gift? I got you a gift, bro. Why wouldn't I not give you a gift? You uh, mean so much to me, this podcast. Guys, how can I not give this guy a <laughs> gift for your one year anniversary? Okay. Come on, bro. Do you not think I love you? Well. <laughs> Let me see if I can get it out because it was kind of hard to put it in. Okay. Did you put it under the couch? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Real quick. I literally, like, thank God it just came in. Okay. So I had to go get it before I got here. All like, right. it just got here. So I hope everything is okay. I hope it's not broken. I hope nothing you like that. You haven't checked it. I haven't checked anything. Like, uh, and, and I, I wanted to wrap it up for you. I don't know. I'm nervous. <laughs> nah, nothing doesn't to be nervous. All right. There's love in the air. We just got married, too. <laughs> love, baby. Nothing but positive vibes. Yeah. But I haven't done anything to it, so it's still in the package. So I'm sorry I couldn't wrap it up. But no, I needed to give it to you already. All right. And this has been in the books. I I ordered this a while ago. long time ago. Okay. You told me a while ago. Okay. Um. So to me, it's something special. And I hope it's something special for you, too. Because, you know, you can... I, I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> I'm excited. I, you know what? Every time you compliment me, Sebas, I always feel like I should be the one like complimenting you. Because honestly, like this has been such a blessing to my life. So I'm uh, yeah. I'm overwhelmed by this, man. Um, so first of all, before I even say this, let me say thank you to you, man. Nah, man. I love you, bro. Friends for life, baby. Yes, sir. There you go. <laughs> don't read the label, just open it. This is a big package. Yeah, don't read the label, just open Do it. Do not lay. Okay. <laughs> can you give me something can you give me a little something to utilize yeah i don't have a, a tool to thing like that but and like i said i really hope you like it okay I, I think i'm gonna love it i have no idea what this could be <laughs> like I, i'm looking at this i'm like what is it like a pizza i like i said you're a man that has everything yeah a nice car a really nice house gas money <laughs> a lot of clothes money. i got clean gas money. socks that's been my favorite thing the about expensive having money ice cream. white tank <laughs> fresh white <laughs> dogs butter pecan fresh white tank tops all the time all the time like you I'm only so wash bad. them once and you throw them away hey, in the trash <laughs> getting your car detailed like you know I, I know you i've known you for so long you have everything so i'll try to get something meaningful for you that maybe you can keep for the rest of your life okay and, here you go sir yo this is what is this i don't know what I, is it I'm so confused I, I'm, right now. I'm actually very impressed, and I I don't wow. I don't know how, how they wrapped it. This I've, is crazy. Okay, hold on. This is a whole thing, guys. <laughs> this is if you guys are just listening, I'm a. This is like a whole tarp around this pizza box shaped object, and uh, we are uncovering it at the moment. Come on, I, explain I it to detail, brother. Right. And now there's another layer of protection: <laughs> oh, the bubble wrap. It's a bubble wrap wow. situation here. And if you're watching this and you did this, I know who you are. And shout out to you. You have great. Thank you for doing this because yeah, it's so very much protected. Care, so much caution. So yeah. much protection. I'm going to use that later Dang, when I get I'm cold. Nervous. I'm nervous. Right, here we go. We're getting closer. I'm actually nervous. I already know what this is, bro. <laughs> and I'm literally about to cry right now. Dude, are you serious? <laughs> 
Oh, I'm gonna cry myself. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Dude. <laughs> I have my own Simpsons character. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. Not my eyes watering. Now. Dude. <laughs> If I wasn't officially a part of the podcast, I'm officially a part of the podcast. Babacito, this is insane. You like it? I love this. Yeah, so I... This is crazy. <laughs> wow, bro. Isn't wow. It, isn't it cool? Dude, I don't even know what to say, man. I'm honestly, like, lost for words. This is beautiful. The guy who did this one and that one, like, is super talented. Yeah, Barto. The homie yeah. Barto. But bro, even just you thinking about doing something like this is crazy. Yeah. I'm so, I like I said, dude, I'm so lucky to be a part of this. I'm so lucky to be a part of you guys' uh, life, honestly, as, as a whole. And uh, this whole thing has changed my life tremendously. We were kind of talking about this. This whole year has been yeah. incredible in so many ways. Um, so, I, dude, I, I love you. <laughs> I love you so much, <laughs> I love you bro. too, man. And like I said, there's just... It's just something that, first of all, you need one. I need one. Yeah, because it only makes yeah. sense. We always see my dumbass right there, <laughs> and it only made sense to have you one. Look at how handsome you look. I now. look like a handsome devil. I need to be I think I need a. I think I need a remake on mine because you look hella good. But wow. yes, yeah, so I you know I put wow. I put salute. On, on, I know. On the white I tea. love it. And it's just perfect, you. It's bro. just you can have it here. You can have it in your house. Whatever. I want to have this at my house, but I feel yeah. like it should be here too. It's up to you, bro. Damn. It's it, that's yours. So once again, thank you, it. Josh, for thank everything you, that you've done and this being consistent. Crazy. And one thing that I've noticed about you is that you've never, I've never seen any type of lack with you. As in like, eh, I don't want to film. You've always been ready. Ready. You've always been excited. You've always been encouraging, even to myself, motivating and stuff like that. So I've never had once where I've had to like, oh, damn, you know, never. Yeah. And yeah. I've known that since day one. Yeah. So... I feel like this was the best this thing to, the to give you. This is the perfect gift, and, and I know people, like, maybe back at home, it's like, oh, it's just a portrait of the no. system. But it means more than that. It's, it's you know, it's 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 part of our podcast. Yeah. And yeah. it's like, you know, yeah. it, it, it could, it's it, official. It, it's official. I was going to say, I it's feel like this. It's been official, but, it, yeah. you, you know, it's kind of like. This is such an iconic part of yes, the whole set, yes. just like the Kobe poster. And it's and been there exactly, for years and exactly, years and years. Exactly. Yeah. So this is just like. Yeah. Official, official. It's official. So. I love this, bro. I know. I love you, This is incredible. This is the coolest thing ever. This yeah. is the coolest gift I've ever received, man. And shout out to the person who designed this. This is amazing. Super, yeah. super I'll, talented. I'll put him on the, yeah. on, the, on the bio and stuff or on the there description. Is, yeah. There's a there letter. There it is. Dude, there's some of them look like exactly like me. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it's spot on. I think there's something back here, too. Oh. Is there? <gasps> it's, it's like a letter or something. It's like a letter. What? I don't know if that letter's for me or you. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I will. We can open this. Should I open it now? Should I open it later? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've never opened it. Is there anything in there? It's an invoice. You owe me money, motherfucker. Title, happy anniversary, my boy. Artist, St. Barto. Oh, year wow, 2023. that's really cool. It's a certificate of authenticity. Oh, If y'all wow. thought this was a fake, that's cool. <laughs> joke's on you, my boy. Oh, my God, that is so freaking cool. That's this cool. authentic. I love that. This is sick. Aww. Yeah. St. Well, Barto. I'm glad, I'm glad you like it. It makes me this happy sick, that, that, that you enjoy this. that. Yeah. So sick. Yeah. I'm put this in here actually. Oh shit. Keep that. It's all yours. This. You good, man? <sighs> I'm overwhelmed yeah. with emotions, man. I feel like uh I can't thank you enough. Sometimes I feel like um you do so much, man. And I'm just I'm truly grateful. I'm truly grateful. And I'm excited to be a part of this LP family, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh shit, I like totally ruined this whole thing. I'm all sorry. Alright, well great success. Great success, man. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, bro. bro. All right, cool. I want to figure out if we like where we can put this in the studio because I want. I feel like it should be here. I feel right. I think. I feel like it needs to be next to you. Let's get into this. Congratulations! Wow, very you, cool. Thank I you. Love very it. I appreciate that. It's really cool. All right, so everybody back at home sent a bunch of questions. Yeah, and I'm going to read them. All right, let's get into and it. And you can answer them, babe. Obviously, Josh, you're going to have your input and yeah. stuff like that. So I'm excited because all these questions were really good. He didn't let me see any and of them. Good, good. We just Cause, cause I was like, Did you get questions? Yeah. He said yes. <laughs> First one's pretty easy. Okay. Everybody back at home is wondering how many people were invited. That's Ooh. actually a good question. I don't think we even talked about that. Um, we started. Well, we kind of always knew we were going to have a bigger wedding, uh, just based on like family on both sides, and then 
just all of our friends. So we said anywhere between 200 and 300, but it was actually 250. Oh, I wow. Think it was yeah, I think very, it was a great amount. Good. Yeah. At our engagement party, we had 150. Half the people couldn't come. Well, 100 people couldn't come because they were either traveling or not able to make it, which it wasn't a big deal because yeah. it's just a smaller party. But everyone uh, made it. I think out of everyone we invited, maybe less than 10 weren't able to attend. Wow. Yeah, and it was kind of like last minute things. Yeah, as in like, like they oh, tried, but they couldn't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, very very last minute things or they told us in it well even earlier when we did rcps there was only two couples that couldn't make it wow yeah wow 250 was like the perfect amount yeah. especially yeah. for like the size of it like it, it was perfect didn't feel like too crowded or anything yeah. it was just like perfect it's great perfect. yeah did that does that all go into consideration when developing like the actual because i know you guys this thing was yeah. all customized oh, yeah. so depending on the amount of people the bigger it would have been or whatever yeah the, yeah the well you have to start getting the head count pretty early on not too early on but get kind of like a yeah What's it called? Guesstimate? Yeah. Like a rough estimate. Yeah. A rough yeah. estimate of how many people you want so that you they know where to kind of place you at gotcha. and where it's going to fit. Yeah. And then from there, when you go into booking catering, any food vendors, yeah. that's always a question. Yeah. And then more so when you do rentals. How many chairs you need to rent? Because when you do the rentals, it's not just like a table and chair. It's like, no, a table, chair, place settings, mm -hmm. glasses, mm -hmm. silverware. Like everything kind of goes. Yeah. So you have to kind of get this number pretty close ahead yeah. yeah but we didn't get the exact exact amount until like maybe a couple weeks before the wedding. how was it when like creating like the list because like, obviously there's like go-to people that you know right yeah. and then it's like from there like you're thinking about family and family yeah. that maybe you haven't really talked to yeah. i think we talked about immediate family first yeah and then aunts uncles cousins the list well, goes quick the way we did it they i think worked out great and this is like a great tip for anybody wanting to do yeah. this you each work on your sides mm. work on your sides with your close like family like all the family you want and then like your friends and then that's where we were able to get all well all, everyone we know is mainly in couples so yeah. it was easy with the friends yeah. it was more like okay he's like my tia and my tío and then these and this mm -hmm. and that so it's like going over all of that yeah and then for then we put it all together wow that's cool. yeah and even that when we put sense. it together that, that, yeah, that makes sense. we were still like under the the number we didn't want to surpass got it yeah yeah what but, was the number like 300 no from the get-go it was always um like 250 oh, like cool. between 200 and 250 yeah, yeah. it was always right yeah. there nice yeah, but I mean, I'm telling you, like, once you do your family and she does her family and then we do our friends and then we do kind of like, because, you know, you have you have your group of friends that you currently in your life hang out with all the time. You know, that's how it is. And then you have friends that you love yeah. who are there for you, who have been there for you, who have who you've known for, you know, five, ten plus years, maybe more. So then you think about those people, like yeah. people that like, you know, for example, my, my buddy Aldo. Mm -hmm. um, I don't hang out with them as much anymore, but I used to do hair with them um, eight years ago, and he means a lot to me. He yeah. taught me everything I know. He he, you know, he gave me my wings. Or is that how you say it? Yeah, <laughs> you know something yeah. like that. Yeah. So he had, you know, I need him. Being, yeah. I need him there. Yeah, yeah, you know. So there's a lot of those kind of people as well. And um, but yeah, it I think that was one of my favorite parts. Just like who's gonna come? Who's gonna? Yeah, come? It, yeah. it was really cool. That's yeah, cool. and like I said, for the most part, it's just like people that just mean a lot to us. Yeah, and it was just very close friends and family. I think too, we cool. also got lucky with everyone RCPing really quickly. Yeah. Sometimes I've I've heard in the past people. Oh, I'm not gonna miss this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I heard people in the past having to chase down friends and family. Oh damn! But for the most part, everyone responded. Yeah. Super quick. Yeah, that's it was, cool. It was easy. Yeah, a it breeze. was cool. And it was so awesome and it was just such a compliment that like everybody showed up yeah mm -hmm. you know like yeah we had, I had like a cousin that couldn't go or blah 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 but that's normal right yeah, exactly. but for the most part like i've heard stories where it's like yeah like 40 people didn't sh show up or blah blah or this happened or that happened yeah but no we're very lucky that everybody showed up it was wow. very warming um somebody wants to know you gifted sebas a rolex what did he gift you <laughs> <laughs> the same thing <laughs> which is really really funny because yeah. i didn't know i didn't yeah, know i yeah, swear yeah. i know either yeah um i always wanted to gift him a watch a new one something nice he's can, dude does everyone know the story about the first no. one can i tell them you should yeah yeah okay so years Damn. years in, i'm gonna say it because this it's is like four years ago now uh, like uh 2019 i would say somewhere around that time um we had both well he had, i had purchased myself my own watch and then uh, I was like, I'm gonna splurge, I'm gonna buy something really nice for myself. And then he did the same thing too. We both both bought watches and we were like, Hell At the yeah. same time? Uh, yeah. yeah. Give it to, yeah. Yeah, same right around the same time. And we do everything together. He had the, he had the watch, <laughs> he loved it, he took very good care of it. And then he went out one night with some friends and I said, Hey, just like, 
Maybe don't wear the watch. <laughs> Maybe don't wear it, yeah. Um, he wore it, and I remember my friends facing me, and they're like, Karen, he's super drunk. We're gonna put him in an Uber, send him back home. And I said, no, 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 let him stay with you guys because he's gonna pass out, and I'm going to sleep. It was already like super late, so I was like, I may not wake up. <laughs> so he passes out in the car. In the Uber. In the Uber, and then the next day, we're about to go, like he's, he comes inside, I open the door eventually, he comes inside, we go to sleep. And then in the morning, he's like, hey, babe, um, have you seen my watch anywhere? And I'm like, no. And he's looking for the watch everywhere throughout the house, frantically looking for it, going through the cameras. He's like, I had it on when I left. I know I had it on. I remember on FaceTime, he was like this hanging on one of our friends and he had it on because I, I always am very aware of everything. Yeah. And I was like, you probably got robbed by the Uber driver. He said, there's no way. So we went back to the footage and sure enough, the Uber driver pulls up and I know him. When he passes out in a car, if he's not like this, He's like this, mm. meaning arms are out. And I, I just know it. So my, what I'm guessing is the Uber driver turned around and said, hey, wake up, you gotta go. Try to shake him and saw it. And he wasn't waking up, so it was kind of solid as an Smashed opportunity. It. But the Uber, the, the reason I, I- never told you this? The reason I- I think you did. You told me you lost it. I didn't know that there was a possibility that the Uber no. driver yeah. stole it. Well, here's it. the thing. The guy stopped in front of the house and he was outside the house for five minutes. Come Whoa. on now, come on now. Like it's very obvious. So the next day our friend would call the Uber, call the guy. He immediately was like defensive. Like, nope, I picked someone up right away. There was, there's no way. I picked someone up, they probably took it. Like he already had a response for what he was gonna say. Wow. Um, and then from there, I think he blocked our friend like from calling what? him or something. Did you, were you guys able to see like on the cameras, like walking back if he we still We saw had... him pull up. He was there for like a minute. Mm -hmm. And then my drunk ass finally, I guess, woke up. I, I'm assuming he probably I was got it and was out. like, get out. Yeah. So yeah. then I just walked to my door. I had long sleeves on. Oh, got it. Okay. So I couldn't really see, but that morning, and it sucks because first of all, I was an idiot, and Karen was kind of mad at me because I got home drunk, and then the the day after we had Disneyland planned, and it was Valentine's Day. Oh my God, you blew it. Yeah, I was. Blew it. I was. I was, <laughs> I was upset. <gasps> Sorry, someone just posted this in our group chat at the neighborhood. Big ass fucking snake. Sorry, scared the hell out of me. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Sorry, scared cool. me. Um, so as you can see, I have a tattoo here. <laughs> of a Rolex. Of a Rolex logo. Yeah. Because I had one long time yeah. ago. You had the tattoo before you bought the Rolex, by the way? No, I had the Rolex first. And then you're like, I'm getting a tattoo. I had like a Jubilee Day, Day Just or something like that. Yeah. And it was a nice Rolex and I'm so bummed out. You know, you always want to keep your first Rolex. Yeah, and, and that was and the I, first thing like we... <sighs> We both had kind of ever purchased for ourselves, like yeah. in that price range, yeah. something that we were like, you know what, let's let's reward ourselves, yeah. hard work throughout the years, and let's just buy something. And it hurt to buy that because we're like, oh my god, it's expensive, but like, let's just get something nice for ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, the next day I was like, he's like, I can't find it. I said, not my problem. No, I was like so mad at him because I'm like, we're going to Disney. It's Valentine's Day. Uh, you're super hungover. Yeah. So we don't know a hundred percent if the Uber took right. it. This is speculation. But we're, well, we're placing, we're we're betting that he, he did. did. So ever since then, um, he never repurchased it again. He kept wearing his Casio watch, and I was always like, "Dang, I really want to get him one." He wore the Casio watch for the wedding. <laughs> no, it was, it was the uh, Apple Watch. No, well, no, he changed. Well, no, I know, but prior, oh, prior, yeah. no, it wasn't. Cause, cause it was, yeah, it was kind of like a Casio, yeah. But yeah. yeah, you know me, I always wear yeah, Casio. Yeah, I mean, it was still fire watch. But even somebody made a comment they're like, "That's the watch you're gonna get made." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, so I always wanted to get him that, and um, I it was already like on my mind that I wanted to get him like a really nice watch, and yeah, got him this one, and he loves it, and the. The girls were like, I was getting ready. I was yeah. finishing up and they're like, hey, real quick, we have something for you from Sebas. And I said, what the hell? And I saw it and, and I started laughing with my maid of honor because she knew what it was, but we had just went and got this. You know, yeah. like she knew that I went and yeah. got this for him. Yeah. So I started laughing. I said, no way did we get each other the same gift. This is hilarious. <laughs> but the one he got me is so beautiful. That's like, not it. I'm scared to wear it out because I feel like it's just so like, how do you explain it's Like attention, like just very like, out there, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's attention it's, grabbing. It's not that it's like, like all like blinged out, but yeah. it's definitely way flashier than that. Yeah, That's like this saying. one's it's like, all gold, right? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love this one because it's just very like the, the multi metals. Yeah, make it everyday wearable. But the yeah. other one, it really stands like out. The, that I'm yeah, like, she went a Rolex. <laughs> yeah. like, like, like I'll wear that one, you know, 
it's and like a one, special occasion then, one. Yeah, and then the, the new one has like a bigger face. Like that one's cute and dainty. I, I see what you're saying though. It's yeah. more like everyday then, kind of yeah, The one I got her is more like, like yo, a, I'm going to, yeah. you know, we're doing something But it's nice. like something that I'm like scared to just lay on anything. I'm, I'm afraid to like No Ubers for you, it. girl. Uh-uh. No, that absolutely. One. no drinking. <laughs> absolutely not. But that, yeah. the, the watch that you picked for him, it was a beautiful watch. Yeah. Yeah. For those, like I learned that this is like the Batman. Yeah, the Batman Rolex. And when I found out that I was a Batman, what did I say? Batman for a bad man. <laughs> Batman for a bad man. <laughs> Batman for a bad man. The whole night, hot the way the you're saying, like, Josh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, no, yeah. that, so that was, it felt really good. I didn't know that she was going to give me a watch. Yeah. The word, I wanted to give her a watch because, I mean, I mean. Wait, how about the funniest part of it all is that we went to the same jeweler. I had no idea that. What? Yeah. So, well, it's like friend of. Friend yeah, of course. Yeah, I yeah. got connected through yeah, Papo. Yeah. And then I, I had reached out, met up. And then I think just before that, he had just met up with him. But he this guy was like not going to say anything. Oh, no, but yeah, yeah. But it was, it's funny looking back at it. Because I'm like, he knew. Yeah, that's kind of cool knowing. It. Yeah, no, it was really cool. And you got it fitted already? Did you yeah, go? To, yeah, I got it fitted immediately. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I got her a watch because I, you know, because it, it, it my backstory is kind of like I've known she's had that one for a long time, and I really wanted to get her something like. Imagine you got her a, a Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> a Simpson. <child. laughs> that would have been hilarious. That would have been kind of cute. I, would, I probably would have laughed. I'd be like, "Oh, sweetie." Yeah. Oh, what a nice side gift. What else? <laughs> yeah. What else? <laughs> no. And then it was cute because I gave her the the watch, and then oh, yeah, I put and the a, I, I put a, a like a really a Polaroid picture that I've had in my wallet for years. Yeah. And uh, I wrote like a little message. I can't really remember what I wrote. I, I think you just put like the wedding date and something else. But it was like it was. It was you like could the, tell this this had been in there for a while. Wow. It was yeah. Cute. It was cute. So it was cool. I did not expect the watch. I swear I did not expect the watch. No, I, I know. I know. I was there when you opened it. You were completely shocked. Yeah. Well, we put it in the shoe box, so it looked yeah, like you got yeah. a pair of shoes. Yeah. yeah. I did not expect it. Plus, <laughs> I wasn't thinking like, oh, I know, I know she's gonna give me something, but I'm not like the type of person that's like expecting. Or when are when is when are we gonna do this? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I'm yeah. you know I just whenever it comes, but it was really cool and yeah. I wore that I wore this yes. watch at the wedding yes. after yes. and I showed her. So. I love that. Yeah, yeah when, when cool. we were standing at the altar and we're looking at his arm, I'm like, I love your watch. He's like, Did you wear the watch? No, oh, no, you know what you're, yeah, no. Yeah, hers was really big on her. Gotcha. It was oh, like, gotcha. I have like this. Did you wear a watch for the wedding? No, I have really small wrists, so even the guy that was adjusting it, yeah. he's like, oh my gosh, I gotta take it in, sorry. Because he was like doing it for us. Yeah, and now I'm glad because with that kind of watch, I don't want to just like be removing links yeah. Yeah. without no, really not. doing it properly. But yeah. He did also say that if you remove too many links, it won't sit on the, the pillow thing nicely. Oh. Yeah. So in order to get that presentation, you mm -hmm. have to kind of keep all the links. Otherwise, Got if you would have took it I in, it wouldn't have fit. Yeah. So it would have just been dis the display would have been. Yeah. Not so there. you're saying you knew that it was going to be too big, but in order to not yeah, ruin the I presentation. Know. And I know that she wasn't going to wear it either because yeah. of her outfit and wedding. I know that she's going to keep store it really yeah. quick. I would wear it. Did you have jewelry on? Like, what's the jewelry? What's the jewelry situation? I just had earrings. Um, and then just during, I didn't have anything because I had long sleeves on. Oh. So I didn't want this. This gets really snagged on everything. And gotcha. I, just, I took off all my jewelry. I was mm. like, no jewelry. That makes sense. At all. But nice. Good thing at the end of the night is that my maid of honor, Ale, actually took took it home. So she's like, oh, yeah. cool. to just not leave it there. Yeah. Leave it yeah, out. Leave she it was Shout out to Ale. Yeah. <laughs> she's she, the she, best. Yeah. She was literally not like, uh -uh. She's in no, South no play, Korea play. right now no. living her best life. I know. Her guys, tripas are made out of ramen noodles right now, I think. If you guys follow Ale, please look at her story. She's in South Korea eating like everything that I want to eat on this I'm earth. I'm jealous. Yeah, she's having We're the best We're considering going on our honeymoon in South Korea. Just because like the food Just because culture? it looks amazing. Wow. Yeah. But more questions when we come back. Wow, that was already 30 minutes? 30 yeah. minutes. Damn. Well, much. your freaking gift took freaking <laughs> forever. Yeah, you like your gift? I love my gift, man. Thank you, bro. And, and with the gifts, that was a very thoughtful gift, man. We'll Is be he right a gift back. giver? Is he good at gifts? He's on a lot he's better. On, he's on, yeah. Years, yeah. He's got a lot better. <laughs> no, in the beginning it was we'll obviously be right very different, but but he gives the most thoughtful. But that's what I'm gonna say. Sweetest. Yeah. He, he thinks like about everything. Yeah, yeah. I can be better, and there's always room for improvement. <laughs> Come on, my we'll boy. We'll be right back. Shooting, Seba. Sorry. <laughs> But 
Shohein. 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 Hein. Shohein. Otani is Go. a freaking phenomenon. He this is. is an angel player. He's an angel yeah. player. I'm gonna, go see, I'm gonna go see them. From Japan. He pitches like a god. Yeah. He hits like a god. He has. He's and not only is he good know, at both. I know what you're he's about. breaking yeah. records. He's like the for, most for guy each, for pitching and batting. For he's pitching, crazy. he's the best pitcher. Is that unheard of? Oh yeah, super. No, you don't they're do saying, both. They're saying that he oh. might be the greatest baseball player to ever walk the earth. Shut up. I swear. Yes. Yeah. You don't. You, you're not just How like. Come in? I don't think I know who he is. I mean, he's, he sounds familiar, but I don't think I've ever the heard The thing of about the MLB, and I've heard this before, other people say this, that they're, they do a really bad job at creating superstars. Like the NBA, mm. they do a good job at like developing these Like athletes. highlighting, highlighting yeah, the athletes and, 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 and the MLB players, like they don't do that. They don't like invest the only, a lot into the their players. The only player I know about right now that's like everyone loves is Mookie. Oh yeah, yeah, Mookie Betts. Yeah. 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 But it's like, they do they only focus on one person or shouldn't it be like... Yeah, I mean, they, I don't know. People. I just think teams should do a better That's job at like developing <laughs> developing stars, like superstars. You know? Yeah, uh, yeah. Like, S um, speaking about Mookie, um, did you know? Because I play MLB the show, and they give you like little facts because the commentators when you play the video game, they like talk about the players when you're using them. Um, did you know it's Mookie, and his middle name starts with an L, and then it's Betts. So it's MLB. Yeah, so it's his wow. his thing's MLB. Crazy. Wow, that's that's kind of crazy. crazy. That's really cool. That's like you're destined yeah. to be in the MLB. Or the dad game. was just clever and there he was no destiny it. involved. And he was just like But he didn't he, know his son was gonna be as major. That anybody is true. anybody yeah. could, that is true. could be play a sport growing up and then not go anywhere yeah. or they you know fall on something else yeah. or want something else but that like is that. true babe god damn you're smart. i love coincidence like that like just yeah. <laughs> you heard the, this is kind of sad but the you know the whole like uh titanic uh that the what's it called the titan the submarine that oh, went yeah. down the the the, the, the wife of the husband okay. captain was correlated to a family in the titanic i heard about this what yes dude yeah like is that why they pure did coincidence it? no i think it's just coincidence that whole thing is like so, yeah, it's so super sad eerie. and eerie yeah, for yeah. sure. The captain's wife has family members that are like connected to her that were I part of the Titanic. That. Yeah. And even in the movie, they're kind of featured in the movie of the Titanic. They're like the couple, the older couple that like they decide to like just allow themselves to die. Yeah. Wow. They like kind of cuddle up in the bed and yeah. Die. Yeah. Oh, I don't it's know. Something about, something about going in the water like that just freaks me out. I won't even I like know. go into an ocean. I want to go into I like, got to see. I, I want to yeah. go into conspiracy no pun intended. theories. <laughs> I want to go into conspiracy theories like the Titanic, yeah, because there's so many things of like that that shit sank on purpose. Or they're saying that it wasn't actually it wasn't, the Titanic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. It was like another boat. Oh, that I, heard it. It. Yeah. I heard it. So there's some... but 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 this is about we're gonna like go in. It's about I can I can get into exactly. It. Yeah. So maybe one day you can come. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> um, and we should do conspiracy theories. I don't Saturday. Cool. <laughs> um, okay, you ready for the next one? You guys Let's ready? Do. I'm ready. How long are you both waiting to try for a baby number one? You know what's funny? You guys say that because <laughs> the next day everyone's like, so are you pregnant yet? <laughs> <laughs> I know, how quick. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I, I posted, I went to the doctor yesterday and everyone's like, oh, I know you're going in for a baby. And I'm like, no. Um, I want to say, it's funny. In the beginning, we both said immediately after the wedding. And now we're like, maybe we'll wait a few more months. But I think we'll probably try in the honeymoon. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. that was what we've been talking about. Yeah. 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 We and haven't then, tried yet. We've just continued to practice. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but <laughs> that's like, even before we got married, even like when we got engaged, I think we kept talking about like honeymoon, honeymoon. Like, yeah. let's, let's do a traditional honeymoon and yeah. try it, you know? <laughs> um, but... Yeah, right now we're like having some, we're going to travel for a little bit soon. Um, and our honeymoon. And then our honeymoon. And then we want to travel like for the rest of the year. Yeah. You know, we didn't do anything the whole it. year because, yeah. or even last year because, you know, we just want to be focused on the wedding. I feel like I've like been that. a real grandma the last few months. So, you yeah. know, we want to enjoy ourselves. Yeah. I've been been chilling. And when, I, when I'm when i popping off, it's like at my bachelorette or here and there. Yeah. But for the most part, I've been like really laying low. Um, and now that all the wedding stuff is done, I'm ready to pop off. Yeah, so maybe popping our, off this summer, guys. Wow. So ask. And I want to enjoy my abs for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I look good. Right? My I need abs to enjoy are like this. so intense right now. Yeah. So I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> um, so ask us maybe around October, November. Yeah. See if we have a different Ooh. answer. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we're December, still practicing. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. There you go. How did y'all decide on the style of Sebas's ring? Ooh, that's a good question. This is actually something that... Can you show it off to the camera real quick if they haven't seen it? He has a gorgeous gold um, ring <laughs> with an emerald inside of there. Yeah. And this was all his design and what he wanted to do, which I love that because Sebas is super unique from his style, 
everything he does, I feel like he always um It's catered to him. It's very specific to it him. It is very, yeah. very much so. And or he always show me something and I'm like, Oh, that's cool, that's different. And he's like ahead of the game. Like yeah. two months later it's like a trend a or something. Yeah. But he had always wanted something more unique and not just like a traditional band. And I never really pictured him in like a regular just, band. Yeah. I, I if I saw anything it was, it was gonna be gold. I feel like I could yeah. see him in a gold band, but not necessarily a traditional ring. So this doesn't surprise me that he wanted to go this route, but I loved it when I saw it. I was like, wow, this is very, very much Sebas's yeah. vibe. I have a question because I don't know how this works. Yeah. Uh, did you buy the ring? How does that work? Like no, who buys no, it? No, uh, it's kind of weird. Who buys his? Because obviously he bought your it's ring. It's kind of weird. Well, it's first like you so, buy him together. Oh, okay. <laughs> right? Well, first, well, I don't that's know. How that's how we did it. <laughs> I, I mean, but, yeah. But I don't, we don't know the rules. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I mean, but I don't know because traditionally when you get married, you're not living together. Right, you're yeah. not financially like joint bank account joint, situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we're not like you know we've we've been married technically, yeah. right? But I don't know how they would do it traditionally. If they, uh -huh, traditionally, maybe yeah. the girl does buy the guy the ring, or maybe the guy mm -hmm. buys both. We did it both. together because yeah. I don't know. Sometimes y'all went fifty fifty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, we hit up a friend that's a jeweler because we were looking for someone to. I just didn't know what to do. I was yeah. like, I don't know where to go. I don't know, like, because he bought me the the wedding ring, right? Yeah. And then I was like, I don't really know what I want as far as a band. So I kind of looked around for inspo, especially because I have a pair of ring. Pairs are kind of hard to pair something with it. Mm -hmm. I find something so a little too big, but I wanted this to be like the main the main focus yeah. in like a small band. So we had a friend who is a jeweler. Her name's Emma. We'll link her down. Yeah. Shout out to Emma. Emma. And she has like a, a, a jewelry line. So she she sells like regular jewelry, but she also can design as well. Oh, cool. So I was like, Emma, look, I know you do this. And then we can help us out with like finding like how to do this or can you make this? So she yeah. basically made ours. Did you have uh, like a ring in mind already? Like a style? Yeah. Okay. And then she kind of built off that. Let me see. Yeah. I had like, I you know, inspo, like some inspo, inspo, some like, you know, this is what I want. First of all, an emerald is my birthstone. Mm. And I love emerald. This mm. what Sebas is inspo, inspo one. Oh, that's sick. Inspo two, but oh, without, yeah. but without the diamond. Oh yeah. Which is kind of what he got. Um, Did she show you like a rendering of what she mm -hmm. can do? Mm -hmm. for, and then you're like, that's what yeah, I want. Yeah, and then she's like, okay, horizontal, vertical, what do you want? Yeah. Was it tough to decide between gold and silver? Because that's why I think I would, because right now I'm in a silver yeah. like, phase, yeah. but then I've also been in a gold phase. Yeah, so yeah. Like, I like them both. Yeah. I really like them both too, okay. but I do like gold with green. Gotcha. Yeah. But silver with green is dope too, Sick, but I yeah. just chose, I don't gold. know, it's more wedding ish. I and it's also gold timeless. Really gold nice. is timeless, but so silver, but yeah. I, I think agree. gold is I, a little more. This, like for me, I'm a gold girl. Yeah. And originally, this is like the ring inspo I showed her. I'm oh. like, it's very similar to my ring, but it's just a gold Wait, band. It's very similar. Yeah. So basically, I, to I told her, I'm like, I found this ring. Can you make a band similar? So it's basically like big diamond, small diamond. It's like big and it's hard to see. Yeah. It, but that's what I showed her. And then I said, maybe down the line. That's gold? This is gold. Yeah. yeah. I said, maybe down the line, I'm going to want to switch my band oh, yeah. to all gold. But for now, I'm going to enjoy the silver. For I guess a bit. you're right. Right. You could just switch. You just take yeah. the diamond it's, out. Yeah. It's super oh, easy it. to do it. You just got to find like a trusted jeweler yeah. that can do that for you. I guess you can do that too. Yeah. If you wanted to, you can just pop the rock out. Yeah. But I mean, at that point, it's just like, I rather, it, it means so much to me already yeah. Yeah. that I don't want to touch it. I get you. Same. Yeah. If anything, I can just engrave some stuff on it. Yeah. I just buy another one. one thing, I'm not trying to like flex. I'm just saying like, I just buy another one. Yeah. I, I rather just keep <laughs> this. Yeah. yeah. It, and for me too, I'm like same thing. So I said so good on the diamond that I would forever keep this diamond. Yeah. And maybe down the line change the band like five, mm -hmm. 10 years from now, who knows? But um, yeah. I'm super happy. With so that. you've been wearing it every, every day. This is a dumb question, but you wearing it every day? He, he yeah. wore it to box in the day. And no, I was like, that's what I was, I was leading into. Yeah, like, I'm like, you're so cute. I'm like, you took it to the shit. No, I, I wear it everywhere. Yeah. But like, if I'm going to box or if I'm going to lift weights, I have like a little pouch in my in my backpack. Yeah. I just put it in the pouch. Uh -huh. I zip it up. And then I yeah. just, when I'm done working out, I wash my hands and I put it's my so, ring it's back. It's so funny we're talking about this because. I want to get used to always having when it. Yeah. I, for, when we first got engaged and I first started wearing this ring, it was so different. I was like, wow, I can't believe I'm wearing a ring. Like, it tripped me out. And then after so long of wearing it, when I don't wear it, I feel so weird. The opposite. I feel empty. Yeah. If we go somewhere, I'm like, oh, my ring, I left it. And I'm thinking about it the whole time. I'm Whoa. freaking out that yeah. it's just like at home sitting yeah. there. Yeah. And then last week he didn't have it on. I forgot what day you forgot it. And you were like, Whoa, it actually kind of feels a little weird. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's literally like a part of like wow. your everyday yeah, routine of stuff. Yeah. But you eventually just get so used to it. Sometimes I, I'll be working out. And I'm like, oh my God, I forgot I have my ring yeah, on because yeah, yeah. I'm just so used to it. <laughs> So before we get into the next question, the last thing I want to talk about uh, about the ring is for me, yes, I do like unique stuff, but the reason why I like things that are so unique is because I always think about these unique things in the future. Mm. I do stuff 
now in the present so I can have my answer later in life. For example, if you consider this ring unique, sure, it's maybe a little different than your traditional wedding ring, right? And I like traditional wedding rings, but I wanted something unique because maybe down the line, if I have a daughter, if I have a son and he or she gets married, maybe she'll ask me or I'll ask them, hey, son, you know, you can use this wedding ring or daughter, you can use this wedding ring and you can give it to your future husband. And I think they would say, yeah, like your ring is so unique. I yeah. would love that. It's yeah. a part of us. It's, you know, it's dope. Same with her ring or whatever, you know, I watch movies. I see, I hear stories and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And it's always like, yeah. ring this is my ring. grandmother's ring that yeah. I'm going to get married to. And I always think that's so oh, cool. I think that's movie, so cool. That. Yeah. I think that's so cool. Yeah. We just watched, um, something father about my father. <laughs> it's funny. Funny movie, by the way. You should watch it. Wait, is, uh, Robert who, De Niro. Oh yeah, I'll do Robert De Niro. Yeah, yeah. Is that with the Sebastian guy too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've been wanting to watch. It's out already. It's funny. Yeah, yeah. you can watch it on Apple TV. Oh sick. Yeah, it's actually really like it's a it cute, cute, yeah, comedy yeah. movie. Yeah. Robert De Niro's in it. He's oh, he's amazing. brilliant. Yeah. And it's it's just funny. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I want I want to have that story in my life. You know, like as cheesy as that sounds, like I think about things like that. Mm -hmm. I think about all those things like that. That's why sometimes I I there's a room where my dogs sleep that we put them there when like we leave. So they have like a room to chill and there's AC. Um, I have so many shirts there. And in my head, I'm like, one day I'm gonna have a son that he's gonna look at all these shirts and be like, dang, this is a sick ass vintage shirt. <laughs> <laughs> like this is a sick, you know, like yeah. look at all these shirts, you know? Yeah. And I, as much as like I hoard it, I technically, yeah. cause I don't freaking use them, right? Yeah. No. <laughs> like I, 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 I can't wait for the day that I give it to my daughter or my son or whoever. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. This is sick. And I'm like, yeah, your dad's cool. Huh? <laughs> you know, stuff like that. That's why I like. <laughs> what? Are, what are the? Where's the wedding dress currently? Is it like in a closet? No, no it's in um, it's in the bag that it came in. Oh, like okay. The, what's yeah. It like a cloth. Uh, yeah, it's like the little zip. Yeah, yeah. The zipper bag. Yeah. Yeah. Go, yeah. We actually are taking it next week to go get dry cleaned, but all oh, of our cool. stuff, and yeah. then I'm going to put it, I have a closet, I'm going to put it in, but I want to get it preserved. Yeah. Like, there's a preserved box. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they cool. think about shit like that. Wow. I like that. Even so. her, just store it, even her flowers, right? her bouquet, Yeah. you can preserve those flowers. Yeah, ship them out, and it's being framed into like a frame, but we're doing this huge gallery wall in our, in our when you go up the stairs, there's like oh, two yeah, frames, yeah. so we, I've been going to vintage stores like, mm -hmm as often as I can and I yeah. find frames like vintage frames yeah basically I need to find all the frames and then I'm going to create that's why I was like let me do, let me do your guys' wall yeah please <laughs> I'm going to do like a gallery wall of how they're going to be laid out but I can't get the photos printed until I find all the frames because I need to match it yeah um, but that that frame with the flowers is going to go up on that wall oh too. sick that's so, so cool a bunch of things we're thinking about yeah. Yeah. yeah and the suit what do you do with the suit I mean obviously you can just he's, he's awesome. going to rewear it yeah, I'm going to rewear should. that shit as you should I, at first I was like no I'm not going to rewear my wedding no, no. You have suit, to. but it's hell no nah. that shit looks fly yeah. I might not wear the bow tie and stuff like that but yeah, maybe yeah. a little open you know yeah. more like kind of like chill vibe or if chill we go vibe, to yeah. another wedding and it's like a black tie formal yeah. event boom yeah boom boom chakalaka people want to know how long did it take how long did it take to fully get ready like that morning the day of the wedding it was so chill so we got to the venue at 8 a.m and then i probably sat down to get ready close to maybe 11 30 which is kind of late uh, okay <laughs> like i wasn't rushed yeah. because we weren't doing a first look yeah and oh, the I ceremony see, didn't start till four. yeah so it started at like 11, uh, nicole got there like 11 11 30. i was fully done getting ready Close to maybe one thirty-two. Oh wow! I have a question it about took this because I didn't. Quick. I didn't know this, but did you do like pre-makeup looks to figure out what style the you trial? want? Yeah. I, yeah, I just found that people do that. I didn't know that. Yeah. Like so, multiple. Yeah, so, I did two of them. Two and different then, looks. Because at first, I well, I knew what I wanted to do, but it's just obviously trying like someone else doing my makeup. So yeah. when I can do it myself is yeah. kind of scary, especially for a big day. On a normal occasion, I can get it done, and I don't really yeah. care. But in this situation, I was like. No, I need to get a trial and just go over products and make sure we like it. And the first time we did it, it was great. And then we wanted to redo it again to play with different eyeshadow colors. Mm -hmm. And then I went really, really soft. And then day of, I was like, you know what? Just kind of go a little ham on like Ooh. the eyeliner, change it up a bit. Yeah. So we changed it slightly, but it came out like to what I wanted. So. Yeah. And then same thing with hair too. You have to do hair trials. You wow. have to try things out. Cause did yeah. you do two different looks? Like you did like completely different looks? No, I kept, well, my makeup lasted yeah, from the minute I put it on until I washed it off. No, I'm saying like pre-wedding, like the makeup that you decided to yeah. do, did you have two different styles that you were like, am I gonna do this or am I gonna do that? Kind yeah, of, right? I was kind of in between like soft glam, you girlies know that yeah. soft glam look that I like and then even more natural. And um, the more natural, as pretty as it looked, 
I felt from far away, it just didn't look like me. Mm. I feel like it was too soft. Mm. It was like not emphasizing my eyes and bringing out my features. So I decided to go on the soft glam route, which I think is the best. Basically like do the glam that you feel the best in from day to night. Yeah. And you know that if you want to add on, you can add on down the line. Lily asked me a makeup question. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how many touch ups did you do throughout the night? None, just None. my lips. Wow. Yeah, uh, wow. I was good. I'm telling you, I don't, when it comes to my makeup, I will not. So you didn't have anybody like just touching you up like in power? Oh, well, well, Nicole, yeah, but yeah. she barely had to do anything. Wow. Even I remember there was like towards the middle of the night, Angel's like, how are you still intact? Yeah. I'm like, oh, we put a lot of setting spray on, mm -hmm. a lot of primer. If you guys want to break down, let us know. But I think it's Nicole's <laughs> like prep, like how she did it. Oh, nice. Because we do make up very similar. and She knows the products I like. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we stuck with things that we knew would wear good. Yeah. And if I cried, it's easy to... To touch up. Yeah, but I didn't, well, I did cry, but yeah. I was very good at catching my tears. A lot and quicker than the last- Crying like down yeah. with your face down, so the tears Well, the, <laughs> the trick with crying, if you're getting married, all right, if you guys feel tears coming, do not do this because it's gonna go this way. Yeah. And if you do like this, you better have something to catch it because you saw last time I was like, you guys give me a tissue. Yeah. And obviously I had to use my, my shirt. Yeah. So if you have your head down and you have a napkin, you can catch it from your exact tear. tear oh, I gotcha, okay. And that's it. Yeah. And then I think the best thing too, if you cry, don't touch your face, just, let it run, let it dry, and then work over it. Kind of like, there's just little like tips. It's like stop, drop, and roll. Yeah. Let it let it cry, let it roll, then close Yeah, over. I think <laughs> for me, Tear for me, face is easier to keep control of. Like yeah. for me to not mess it up. Hair is the one that was like hard to make sure no one was messing up the curls right. because he was like dropping me and this and that, yeah. and then the amount of hugs <laughs> oh, that that's go good, on. That's true. Yeah, anyone if like, I love to wear my hair down, but be ready for everyone to put their arms on yeah. you and bring the curls down. Cause I was getting, yeah. it's like the amount of hugs were, they weren't just like. Ah. And people aren't thinking about that. They want to no, like, Of course, yeah. and neither am I. I'm not yeah. gonna be like, nah, 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 nah. Yeah, like I'm like, no, come yeah. here. So the hugs aren't like this. They're like, like, <laughs> so <sobando me. Yeah. laughs> no, even, even with me, I even told, I, I, I even told her the <laughs> next day, I said, Next time we do an event like this, where it's kind of like about us, and yeah. people want to hug us and stuff like that, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make an announcement, oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna be like, "Don't touch my wife's hair." <laughs> no, no, no. I was like, "Guys, thank you guys so much for coming. I know you guys are gonna hug me, but don't fucking touch my hair." People touch your hair hard. Why? <laughs> because they like love you, and then they're like, oh, this, they like and, grab and your... they, they grab the, the back oh, of. Oh my! Right he here, has curly hair. My little duck. <laughs> what they were literally like this oh. <laughs> like i fucking love you man i'm so proud of you blah, blah, blah. and obviously it's so it's nice love. it's nice right yeah. like obviously like karen said you're not gonna say anything of course. but like two hours into the wedding i just had fluff over here <laughs> i had to well, go to the bathroom and if like if you would have gone to yeah. the bathroom you would have saw i put a lot of things no, i did that's what yeah, i'm saying yeah, yeah. i hooked Touch up, up those bathrooms you did you i'll really tell you did. guys about that right now too. i used a gallon of hairspray <laughs> that day i used so did much really? dude I, I, I had like hairspray in my hair for like two days after I I'm so dead. much hairspray I didn't yeah even... talk to us about the bathrooms and what you did at, at so, the wedding that was her idea by the way that yeah. didn't come with the venue yeah oh, that, that was amazing that was my idea because I did pre and then even mid like I was going it <laughs> yeah uh, dude, I was doubling you had two I was like yeah <laughs> so I think this just comes from me like always hosting like yeah. parties and just events knowing. and always and hosting people at the house I always have everything like we will never be low on anything so when it came to the wedding I said the bathrooms when going to the bathroom, what does a girl need? What is something that if I'm going to the bathroom, like I might need something? Band aids, hairspray, <laughs> -aids boob tape. For heels, right? Um, yeah. Boob tape. Wait, I may have the list right here, guys. Let me check. Cause I went shopping check. for, for, for. Even for the guys, you had hair product, you had combs, you had a uh, hairspray, deodorant. Gum, oh, gum, mints, mints yep. Listerine. Yep, Q-tips. Q-tips. Absolutely. Um, um, tissues, um, flop. Floss, yeah, everything. Oh yeah, floss. I don't, yeah. I don't have the exact list anymore because it went. I was like, and you didn't have the tip. Maybe you just, you <laughs> there was off. nobody there. <laughs> it was grab as you please. Yeah, yeah. I'm dead. Hold on one second. I feel like I just saw it right now. Anyways, I just went shopping for the bathrooms for both men and women, and I said, what do they need in the case of like, you're drunk, you were dancing, something happened. So obviously band aids because people cut themselves and blisters and whatnot. For the men, it was hairspray i didn't get you guys gel because he's like no one's gonna be touching it with their hands yeah but it would have came in handy yeah um axe deodorant spray mint mm. mouthwash floss gum gum um there was a couple other things too there was a couple uh hand lotion i did the navia body oh, lotion yeah. in there yeah. i mean oh, i hooked yeah. it up and i can't tell you how many people told me thank you for that because wow. they're like like dennis was like dude i had blisters thank you i got i used the band-aids yeah. yeah um and then same thing for the girls. The girls I went a little bit more ham on their stuff, like boob tape, um, 
I think I did setting spray. Wow. I thought of everything. Wow. Everything that a girl could use in the bathroom, bobby pins, hair ties. Damn. The list goes on. Wow. But if you guys are having a wedding, I recommend doing that in the restrooms because Comes at some point anyone's going to need it, especially if you feel like you're drunk and your hair's all messed up or you're dancing and you just feel like you need a touch up or refreshing up or you forgot to order it. Yeah. Like, I got you. Yeah. I got you. Smart. So that was super smart. That was. So pro, that's a pro that. tip for sure. <laughs> yes. That's a pro and tip. That's another thing too is that a lot, I there was one question where it was like uh for us bride uh, brides getting married uh if there's is there anything that maybe we should that you can tell us that we don't know or like that's a good tip but like like that like that bathroom that's tip that's, that's a good tip. Yeah. Is there anything else like that? Um that you can think of right now we can see. come back to I it. I mean later. that one's that one's good for the bathroom. It depends cuz there's it could be a personal or like about the wedding mm -hmm. but yeah, that's the only one I can think of right now. <laughs> Um, come to my head. All right. Next question is: What was your wedding budget, and did you get any sponsors? No comment on the budget. <laughs> we surpassed it. Yeah, we went over budget. Oh that's God. all we can say. Yeah, we definitely went over the budget, <laughs> but we, I think we start, that's normal. We started yeah. with like an an idea, like a ballpark of yeah. what we wanted to work with, and definitely went over it, which is very <laughs> common with weddings. Yeah. Weddings is just things just add up and. Honestly, like, believe me when I say the minute you mention bride anywhere you go, it's like the prices just like go up on yeah, everything. Yeah, I've heard about that. Anything, like yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. Even if you like reach out to somebody like, hey, uh, I'd like to hire you for this. Okay, here's our, what's that? I think it was like an ambulance or something. Oh. Uh, either that or like an F1 formula car. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> They'll give you a, a rate and then you tell them, oh, it's for our wedding. And then it like triples and you're wow. like, what? Yeah, like, so it's insane. If you ever get quotes on anything, try not to say it's for your wedding. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna talk about the budget. Sponsorships, I freaking wish. I wish I got it sponsored because yeah. that would have been awesome, but no, no sponsorships at all. I saw you do that thing with Bride. That wasn't No, anything. no, no. That's just like a I've never that was my first time ever doing press, which wow. was super crazy because I've never had anyone wanting to write an article on me like that, which was like such an honor, especially Absolutely. Bride's magazine. Yeah. But no, not paid at all. It's basically like uh they reached out, uh, I wanna say the was it the the week we got married or something? And we're like, hey, yeah. we want to do like a exclusive like article. A piece on you. Yeah, right, on your yeah. guys' wedding. Um, so we just went back and forth. That they just kind of wanted to know who our planner was, our photographer. They peeped their work, and we're like, okay, cool. Can we get an idea of like how it's gonna look and stuff? So we kind of just told them, uh, and then from there, that was it. Like they, wow. I, I did like a questionnaire with them. Like I answered a lot of questions they had for me. Like things yeah. they were exclusive about the wedding, mm -hmm. um, like very special moments. So I thought were really really cool to mm -hmm. like ask. I'm like, oh, like the whole first look with your dad and what perfumes we wore or perfume oh, wow. and cologne. So that's, that's really cool. personal stuff. Then they whipped up the article, um, the photos. So we got married on Saturday. We got our photos back on Monday. Dewey that's is like fast. quick. She gave us a hundred photos to give for us to go through, but also like the ones that brides wanted to like look yeah. at. Then from there, they whipped up the article and they're like, okay, we, we can go live on Friday. And it was like, okay, cool. Wow. So it, it's not like media, traditional media doesn't work like in a paid way. It's more, just like we're doing this article and, and announcing yeah. this like thing. Wow. Did you get hit up by people like that wanted to potentially sponsor you and you, no. you guys just decided not to? No, not at all. Wow. I, re I, I really wish, but no. Yeah. I, th um, I think it would be easy for us to like reach out I, ourselves. Yeah, but they don't I think hey, can you do been, this or can you do that? Yeah. But I think I would have been too stressed yeah, out. Yeah, we wouldn't we wouldn't want that. Like, like they're worried about like, I'm sure they want something like in return, for, right? Like content. Yeah, not, it's, it's, like, it's our wedding. I don't want any yeah. of that. Like, yeah. um, Let's just say somebody like, I don't know, gifted us all the rentals, right? Mm -hmm. Like the chairs and tables. And I can't imagine like on the wedding day stressing about having to take those photos with it yeah. in like a certain way they want it. Yeah, no. Like uh -uh. I'm not on the wedding. So oh, that's why. That, that, you just saying that stressed me out already. <laughs> yeah, like, no just, way. So in no. a way it's yeah. kind of like work because I feel like I can't work under stress like that. Yeah. And especially it's such a big day. But honestly, um, it would have been nice. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. It would have yeah. definitely been nice. Would have been so, nice, but yeah. no. But no, I think at the end of the day, it's just like, it's just we weird. don't want to deal with any of that kind of stuff. Yeah. We just want to focus on us and, and that's it. Yeah. You know? I love that. Um, but yeah. But I mean, now post bride, I'm ready for her. <laughs> yeah. But it's kind of cool because I didn't even know too much about brides. Yeah. Until she really told me oh like God, who it the is and, the and, and yeah, what they do. But I it's said, a I said, big do you deal. know who brides is? He goes, no, I'm like, this is like the Vogue of weddings. Oh, wedding. wow. This is like the Sports Illustrated of those magazines. Like, I'm like, this is like the creme of the crop or whatever that saying is. And he was like, I, I still don't know who they are. And I'm like, Sebas, I grew up reading these magazines, ripping out photos when I was a little girl of like dresses and hairstyles and things. Cause this was like how wow. we viewed inspiration. Yeah. This yeah. wasn't like, I didn't live, I didn't grow up in the time of social media. That's crazy. So this was major to me, especially like being Mexican, being featured on there. Like when have you ever seen like a Mexican girl on their stuff? I really haven't. Yeah. Like, not that I know. I mean, I'm sure there's been Latinas on the line, but 
not anyone like me like a yeah. regular girl yeah you know so it was an honor it was it was more like shocking and then even when we got on a zoom call with them i'm like i can't believe like i am with my my publicist yeah we're talking to these people in new york that are from this iconic magazine that want like i just couldn't believe that they wanted to do an article on us. it yeah. was really cool and they, so they they made it look very nice uh, yeah and it was really cool no the pictures came out amazing like the fact that brides had a like a little segment or section and they said the word banda machos was the <laughs> band like oh, that's yeah. so cool you guys, the article yeah. i'll make sebas list it down it, below yeah. but like there's this article piece that literally covers everything like banda machos and then we came out to la bota and uh, they said all that it highlighted uh our DJ were they there the whole time no no no, no they weren't there okay this is just like a like a questionnaire like oh, that they it. asked like yeah. what our first dance song is like they highlighted like a whole like i swear like a whole mexican piece that was like going over like yeah everyone yeah because all the songs were from Mexican artists. Obviously, te quiero tanto. Yeah. Um, and they wrote yeah, all that. that. Yeah, they wrote what cologne did you wear? Tom Ford, baby. Tom Ford. And Everything you? was Tom Ford. <laughs> even my gel, G. No way. Yeah, even it's the gel was Tom Ford. They got Tom Ford gel? Deodorant. Tom wow. Ford gel. He's a liar. <laughs> Tom Ford fucking corta uña. <laughs> That's kind of sick. <laughs> nah. But it was Tom Ford, my... my um, the cologne. Yeah, yeah cologne. it smells good. Yeah. And you? Delina. 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 Okay. Delina exclusive. Wow. How, have you worn it before? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. That's Sounds like my good. scent, and and I feel like anyone I've met, like or hang out with, they always know my. I have like three yeah. signature smells, yeah. and that's one of them that. Yeah, it's top. Is that the special occasion scent for you, or not necessarily? No, I, <laughs> think, oh, okay. I think it's probably one of her like top three for yeah. like if not the favorite. So yeah. it's kind of like you I have the wear body it. cream, the hair perfume, the perfume. It just smells so good. Use it all. Yeah, that day. Yeah, <laughs> I was like lathering Bathe myself up. <laughs> all right, real quick. What's yeah. your favorite cologne? Ooh, for yourself um, you have two minutes it's like a creed one it's a gold all gold oh, bottle Sick. Really? yeah yeah it's creed. oh i know what you're oh, talking I, about yeah. that one's expensive i've never yeah. i never smelled it. it it smells delicious that's cool yeah. just that one that's like the main one uh that's I've my most recent. i love it i love it and then it's um, very elegant right yeah yeah i like uh um tom ford the um there's a specific one tuscan leather i believe oh, yeah. ombre leather ombre leather that's the one yeah. i wore oh shit. yeah yeah me i have a lot uh delina Lilabo the matcha. Tom Ford Santal blush. Oh, that one is phenomenal. Uh, hold on, there's more. A Britney Spears fantasy. <laughs> I swear that one's. Hey, I want to. I want to add one. The Michael Jordan one. Do you remember the one with the little basketball <laughs> embedded in I it? I do remember. That. I used to love that one, dude. <laughs> no Adidas fantasy. Sport. Fantasy smells like like honestly. I I wouldn't even mind wearing that my wedding day because it smells wow. so good. Wow, the Britney Spears fantasy. It's so good. It's that still. Been it's like I imagine you put that in the magazine. It <laughs> smells like cotton candy. I know they would have been like. <laughs> They're like. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know about this. <laughs> All right, real quick before we go on break. Like Wait, what's yours? Mine is the ombre leather Tom Ford. The Labo, the matcha is insane. We like yeah. share uh, the okay. Labo uh, Berg unisex. Bergamot is insane, and the old classic YSL one. I forgot what it's called. The blue oh. bottle? The, no, the black Home. one. Oh. The Le, Le, Le toilet Le mm. Le like We'll that. be right back. That's it. Because last time it was drippy and I'm like, it's time for gloss touch up. Bear, take me out tea. Got you, girl. I'll take your tea. Just kidding, I'm gonna take your tea. Okay. <laughs> take it to Joey's. Dude. I got a couple of them. Why does it sound so good right now? I actually it's, thought about Joey's because Joey's yeah. in the afternoon. We haven't been in a minute. Joey's is cool. Also, I initially wanted to take a shot when I got here, but then you guys, I heard you guys don't have alcohol. We don't. That's I crazy. thought we were gonna drink this episode. You should have told me I would have stopped by. It's all good. It's all good, YP. YP. It's all good. We YP. have to drink out of hundred. Yeah, for yeah, sure. You guys Just have getting to. trash. <laughs> the most trash I've ever, I've ever been was um, uh, uh, Adam, Adam Ray O'Kay's yeah. pod. What's crazy was oh, that you yeah. weren't super trash on the podcast. I was at the end. Yes, but you got progressively he more trash. He FaceTimed me but and he was after like... After that... Yeah. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> um, he FaceTimed me and I was like, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Well, oh, Lord. We were we talking about colognes, right? Right, yes. right before this? Yes. yes. So there you guys go. 
Um, if someone's birthday is around the corner, we just told you literally three, six, at least 12 colognes and perfumes that yeah. are sick. We put Honestly, all on. We put La Labo on. is dope because you go there and it's like an experience. They make it themselves. Yeah. They even put something on the yeah. label and stuff like that. Yeah. To, to me, like that's really personal and like a good present. And they also make candles. I have a new one too. Bomb I really candles. like Bomb the candles. Joe Malone one. Yes. Mm. Joe Malone is Something nice. mimosa. I want to expand my catalog of colognes because I, I play. You're like you know so many. Oh God, I'm not I, like that. I, I know. Love, I got yeah. like my favorites yeah. and I stick uh -huh. to that. You know, like, I was wearing Sauvage for the longest time. That's a good one though. Yeah, Dior Sauvage is good, but that one's like bomb. A, the Johnny say Depp it's like, one. It's like a fuck boy cologne. <laughs> Who said that? People. Is it Johnny Depp cologne? Someone's I mean, just calling me that. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's just Eugene. You should, I feel like you should tap into La Labo because okay. I really like their notes. And yeah. then also. Which one? Is that 33? Is that? Another 33 is good. Or is it 33 or 32? Another 13. Another 13. The matcha, that one's good. another 13. But also the the Baccarat. Mm -hmm. I know the Baccarat is a 540. It's very popular. But there's actually the men's side that is really, really nice. Um, Another Lalaba one that's really so good many. too is I always I don't know how to say this word it's spelled N O I R the Noir the Noir no, Noir, noir twenty nine that <laughs> one's really good for men too I work there that one's bomb yeah Karen knows <laughs> all of it she's gonna, like I'm gonna uh, explore those I always go what buying is it called? Per perfume yeah. snob perfume queen connoisseur <laughs> that's not <laughs> not snob right <laughs> no. that's not what they call connoisseur. it perfume connoisseur. connoisseur oh got it but I always go and buy a new cologne like yeah. I bought this it would smell so good and it's yeah. usually unisex and I'm like I'm gonna borrow it too. <laughs> Uh, By Rado too. By Rado has good. By Rado? They sell it By at Kid. Oh, that brand. shit. Oh, cool. Yeah, Kid really is good. good. Yeah, guys always stick to like their, their little three. Yeah, it's like three. I like, got a rotation. When I was younger, mm -hmm. I would do um, Cool Water. Oh, okay. And uh, Chrome. Cur Chrome. No, <laughs> Curve. Oh, Curve is good. I did Curve too. And then I switched for like the longest one was uh, um, Dolce & Gabbana Blue. Yeah, oh, yeah, that yeah. one's good. That one's good. But I remember when I was like in ninth grade, like I, I would do Curve. Curve, yeah. But Chrome. Curve and Chrome? all the girls. G. Chrome was good. Which one was the one that had like the body? It was like a blue guy. With oh, a, with yeah. A, <laughs> my dad has that one. Which one is that one? Curve? Isn't that Curve? Is that Curve? No, 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 it's not Curve. It's not Curve. And there's it's, a girl one too, right? I and, think it's either like Christian Dior or... No, I know I that exactly one, where, That's hilarious, bro. <laughs> I, I remember because when I was when I lived with my parents, when I was super young, like in ninth grade, I didn't have money. <laughs> so I would open up my dad's shit. And and that's then, the one he had? <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> you little fucker who's spraying my shit. He wouldn't say that. I I would think he did. <laughs> Stupid. Next question. By the way, round of applause for all these great questions. And that you guys everybody are killing back them. The questions are amazing. Karen's killing it. Tell them. She's a podcaster. A married one. <laughs> to be exact. I'm if, a wife. <laughs> if you could have a destination wedding, where would it be? I like if that question. If you can have one. That's cool. Um, I, I think I would have, I have two, two. I would have done it in Mexico, somewhere, maybe Mexico City, yeah. maybe somewhere outside, or you already know, Italy. Ooh. I would have done an Italian. That would have been I would have so done sick. an Italian wedding for wow. sure. Yeah, Italy's uh, sick. Our honestly, friend, a lot of my inspo came from like, like, Italian like kind of like that vibe, but then also wanting to bring like a part of Mexico to it as well. Yeah, yeah. our friends, uh, Jack and Jamie, um, oh my God, they, the dreamiest they Tuscany had wedding. a destination wedding they're from Scotland and they had a destination wedding in uh, Tuscany. Wow. It was in. Did you guys go? Yeah. Yeah. It was crazy. It yeah, was it was very intimate. Beautiful. Um, How many people? Like 100? No, like 60. No way. Yeah, very, Think very so? intimate. I would well, say I, like that. I only know this because uh, where we stayed at, the villas are on the property of the venue. Oh, that's cool. And there's cool. only an X amount of villas. So because of that, she had told me the guest count and it's. This is like one couple, this is two. So it's easier to get people in rooms, yeah, you know? Yeah. I don't really know exactly, but her wedding was stunning and That's I love so I love Italy. Like oh Lo my logistically, I love the idea. Like I think on paper it sounds great, but logistically I feel like it's so complicated, especially if all your family's here in LA. Like for example, I'm talking about myself. Yeah. But to do something like that in Italy, like I feel yeah. like there'd be so many moving parts. Yeah. And then you're I risking so many people not being able to come. Yeah. And then I'm gonna feel like then I'll just buy it and it just becomes like a whole thing. Which, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I totally feel like do. logistically, like what you said, family wise yeah. and friends wise, yeah. and them buying tickets and spending, you know, a vacation. That's what it it's is. It's a vacay, yeah. Um, especially like three, four days out there, taking time away from work, stuff like that. Logistically, that way, yeah, it's probably hard, right, yeah. babe? But I, for some reason, think that when you have a destination wedding, I think as planning the wedding might be a little easier because sometimes these destination weddings, like if you go to Cabo and stuff like that. 
they kind of already have a really nice package for you. Yeah. yeah. Like you yeah. kind of already, this is what it's going to be and there's nothing else that you're going to do, but it's going to be fantastic. Yeah. So in that way, like I think, I, I might be mistaken. I don't know. I've only been married once, but I think it's a little easier on that side of the story. But yeah. yeah yes so. and no, because I think that comes a certain, like depending where you're going to get yeah. married at, but some places it's similar to where we got married yeah. where you yeah. have to find everyone from from you gotta find him on yourself so if we would have done like mexico city i think i still would have hired alfonso yeah. yeah because he's out there and it, he would have been able to find us the spots and show us different locations and places a mexico but, city wedding would be crazy right or somewhere beautiful. even guadalajara, guadalajara like even beautiful. just anywhere like that but yeah. it's now that i'm looking more, more at weddings like i see so much of it now i see a lot also that have been in ecuador which i think is beautiful mm. in guatemala like there's so many beautiful venues throughout the world that i feel like are yeah. still not discovered wow. so and the thing is with destination weddings like where you go somewhere where there's rich culture mm -hmm. when there's rich culture there's rich architecture mm -hmm. and history yeah. yeah so you can have your ceremony in this crazy fucking corral that's mm -hmm. been there for hundreds, that, hundreds of years, years yeah. you yeah. know what i mean yeah. and no if you can put just chairs and just how it exists it's gonna look phenomenal yep, yep. you yep. know it doesn't have to have flower i mean maybe flowers but you know what i mean though mm -hmm. right like you don't have to do too much to it because it's already yeah. so beautiful that's, that's the one thing about and I here in la it's kind of hard to find it is hard to find it's it. not but it is mm -hmm. i feel like anywhere else like in different countries you're gonna find more of that which i think is yeah just stunning yeah i what about you what's your answer i i'm the number one couple fan you would have done it in cabo mm -hmm. in cabo Really? I love Cabo. <laughs> I love Cabo too, bro. I, I just, love Cabo. I love Cabo. <laughs> I just I love Cabo. <laughs> I just, that one kind of took me out. You never said that. Honestly, that one kind of surprised me too. I would have thought Guadalajara for sure. Yeah, I would have thought Guadalajara. Yeah. Yeah. I, Convenience I, I would. wise, going back to logistics, like that would be a I little just think easier. Cabo, maybe. everybody would go. My yeah. family in Mexico would go because yeah. it's domestic. Um <laughs> the resorts there are fantastic. The yep. food's insane. Um I yeah. love Cabo. Okay. I love Cabo. Okay. But I was telling her like I want to go visit my family in December, yeah. like in October in Guadalajara. Yeah. And I want to have like another mini mini wedding for the people that. He literally said, cool. "Save your save your second dress for." And for I that. and I told her I was like, "Yeah, I was like, save your second dress for when we get That's, married I in actually Pueblo." Like that idea. I was like, "We'll invite all our friends that want to go. Yeah. We'll have another party. Oh, God, we'll okay, invite okay. my family yeah, that didn't go. Yeah, these wedding blues hitting you hard. Hard. G. <laughs> we'll invite my family that wasn't able to go. Listen, you want to do it? I'm gonna let you plan it because I can't. Perfect. Yeah, that's true. I'll plan it. <laughs> I want to have like a Pueblo re Pueblo wedding. You Dude, know what I mean? Hard, and man. I even told her, I was like, we'll invite the whole Pueblo. <laughs> sick. That okay. would be sick. That would be sick. So, yeah. I'm in. I'm down. Yeah, you're there. I'm super down. I'm down. That sounds dope. Little fuzzy mind. You down or what? We'll see. We'll talk about it. Ahí veremos, dijo Ciego. Did you get that joke or not? No. Ahí veremos, dijo Ciego. Yeah. I see, said the blind man. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Three blind mice. Sorry. <laughs> did you change into sandals for the reception, or did you dance all night in heels? I was in heels all night. But you did you have like little slip-ons for the girls? I uh, provided ballet slippers for everyone. Yeah. We were gonna do at first like just regular slippers that you can get, and somebody told me that they had those for their wedding and hated it because since they were all long dresses, a lot the length of the dresses were hitting the slippers, mm. so everybody was just flopping around. Yeah. So I did like almost fitted ballet slippers wow that's cool black yeah so they match yeah, cool. everyone. yeah. yeah. and yeah. they're kind of like a hard platform like in the bottom, bottom so yeah. it doesn't feel like a sock yeah, yeah so, so my so first heels nice. my first heels were five inches mm. i was i was that's why in the photos <laughs> it looked like i was like right here with seven i was like i was pretty like at you mm -hmm. and those were comfy until i want to say when banda matches come out i was like oh my god they're starting to like kill me right now yeah. and then i went into some other heels and those were perfect all night oh, i didn't take them off once oh cool yeah and you, you didn't change shoes, right? No. No. But the next <laughs> morning the we had like little scabs and like, we have like blisters. Oh, yeah, even my shoes, like, yeah. ooh. We were dancing, dancing all night. Yeah. 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 It's not that they were uncomfortable, but yeah. shit, I'd probably get the same shit with like some tennies, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. like dude, we were just dancing yeah. the whole night. Yeah. Literally. Um, I think this question is for me, for Sebas, did your brother cry? LOL. Uh, first of all, I want to tell you, Brandon, that his speech was, he blew me out the water. Yeah. If you guys know Brandon, he's a man of not too many words. Few words. <laughs> yes. To say the Few least. words. He was funny. He was funny, yeah. but he was like so sweet Genuine. coming from the heart. Yeah. yeah. And he doesn't show his, that side of him too much. His speech was insane. Robert's speech, the best man, was insane. But there's something about my brother that I 
I can see Robert doing that. Yeah. I can see him giving an amazing speech yeah. as he did. I can yeah. see that. And it made me so happy. And if you're watching Robert, thank you. I love you. But when you don't expect it from somebody like yeah. my brother, it 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 feels different as yeah. well. Yeah. You know? Um and then he did an amazing job. And I I think they're gonna put the speech on our video, yeah. right? Yeah. They should, right? He cried a lot. Well, yeah? Yeah, of course, because oh, I, yeah. I never see my brother, you know, in that like that. Open and like yeah. affectionate, right? Like I didn't see him cry doing his speech because he kept it together. He even said like he I'm took not a couple pauses. Yeah, he no, goes, his voice is breaking. Yeah, like he's he's like he even told me he goes I'm not gonna drink until I give my speech. Like he was really serious about it. Wow. I, I told him <laughs> I like that. that. He, yeah, I told him that he's gonna give a speech like months and months and months. You know, it was ago. funny. He started it off like really like just like hi I'm Brandon I'm the brother yeah. and then he said a couple things that were really funny and then he went into about him just like wanting to be like his brother and I was like oh my god I'm gonna cry and I look and he's bawling I'm like oh shit yeah. and then Brandon's voice was just breaking the whole time but he kept it together yeah, really he nice. did his yeah. speech was amazing yeah I actually got to hear it before and I was so like did impressed. you really yeah he read it to me and uh Ryan just to kind of like he asked if practice. he could yeah. I was like, absolutely literally before we went into the uh the, the reception no I'm sorry the the ceremony I always get it confused well you guys walk, walk down the aisle yeah like it, we were all like chilling and stuff like that this is before we walked down the aisle really dude he was nervous I was no, with he, you he guys had, the whole time he had been nervous he, yeah I could tell oh wow that's cute yeah um I didn't see him cry cry but I know he got it was a very emotional day for yeah. him yeah he kept it together though yeah, and did. I think after that he was like shut <laughs> shut <laughs> <Yeah>. the clock <laughs> everybody said that yeah even my dad, he's like, we're done with the speech. Just give me a shot. <laughs> yeah, I know. Even even me too. But I, I couldn't get drunk. My adrenaline overpowered yeah, by the alcohol. Same. Um, okay, just a couple more. What is your biggest? Somebody wants to know what is your biggest piece of advice for a couple that has just started dating? I think we can all, you know, put our two cents in. This um, is in general. This is in general. Somebody just, you know, wants to know. Enjoy. Um, Have fun. That, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Go Enjoy. On, go on dates um do everything together get to know each other and then even when you guys are at that one year to your mark where it's kind of been the same thing continue to date get to know each other get out of your comfort do things that are fun always yeah. be, always leave room for spontaneous things because if you just stick in this routine you get yes. bored and you get bored and yes. you get bored yes. so and, and this is advice for anybody in your life you got to leave a little bit of room throughout your week to do something fun do something you normally wouldn't do for example i love that tomorrow i'm like i want to go on a hike yeah. 6 a.m i'm going with or without 6 you 6 a.m <laughs> oh shit okay. i didn't know that <laughs> i was like well goddamn good luck partner <laughs> <laughs> and then when i come back i'm like i just want to do a pool day not something i normally do throughout yeah. the week we don't really ever just do that but i'm like i just want to like hang Chill out, out the pool. yeah let's do this let's do that and you have to continue doing things like that little things like that mm -hmm. yeah and i've realized in a relationship even though you don't want to do those things you do those things for your partner and there's some things that your partner doesn't want to do that you'd like to do and compromise yeah she gotta do it too yeah <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. like it that it is what it is i yeah. feel like you're you can give really good advice <laughs> for somebody who's just started dating yeah uh yeah i would say um I think having fun's a big one. Like, don't, don't take it so serious in the beginning. Don't put all this pressure on yourself to make it look like a specific way. Just enjoy getting yeah. to know that person and having fun and really getting to discover who they are. Yeah. And putting yourself 100%. in new situations, like you said, like adventurous things, you really get to learn a lot about somebody. I feel like, like I feel like sorry to cut no, you off. I feel like you guys have been doing so much together yeah. and it's like so yeah. cute. I'm like, you guys are traveling. Yeah. You're going to concerts, yeah. which I think is so much fun yeah. to do because yeah. it's not, not, every, yeah. not everyone you may date Mm -hmm. wants to do that they may be exactly. super opposite and yep. not into concerts not into yeah. traveling not yeah. into what you're into but you guys both are into fitness right you guys have a lot of similarities, similarities yeah which makes it like dating so much fun yeah, yeah right? exactly because yeah. you get experience with somebody who, who's who enjoys it as yeah. well i yeah I, I a lot of people say like opposites attract i'm not the biggest believer in that because i don't want to date somebody who's not doesn't have the same kind of common interest yeah because yeah. i enjoy the things that i enjoy and i want to be able to experience that with somebody Together. who enjoys it as well same. i think that's like a bonus that's why i like her so much too because she's the complete <laughs> opposite of me <laughs> And I hope that I think some opposite is good. No, we're but I don't similar, think like but no, yeah. Obviously, there's like you guys have a lot of similarities. Yeah. Like the way you guys vibe and like the chemistry between you guys, you get just yeah. so much like within you guys. It's very. Similar. But I like how she's different because then I start to get, I start to get interested in things that I normally wouldn't be interested. Yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. And same with her. You know what I mean? Like. I am this kind of person. I talk about this kind of random shit that might open her eyes on some stuff yeah. or 
just keep it different you know yeah yeah for sure um and you got and i think you want to also date somebody who's like open-minded because just because you might not have the same interest but if you're willing to like experience it with them and, and try yeah. new things i think that's also cool too because i also like like sharing new things that like uh my girl hasn't done before too you right know? yeah like i love doing that that's yeah. awesome so. i love that. but i think most importantly too just the last thing i'm gonna say is what karen said kind of in the beginning like have fun and remember everything because if it does last a long time mm -hmm. like thankfully i've lasted till now with karen and we've been doing so good but i can remember the things that we used to do mm -hmm. you know and those memories are going to last forever yeah. so always remember the things that you do don't like take a regular day for granted don't take you know a regular um day night with friends for granted remember everything remember yeah. everything and also take pictures because that's one thing that that's a good one that's a good one thing that i regret yeah. is we didn't take enough photos we do have pictures but i know people who have shitload of pictures yeah. when they were like, like every moment 19 years yeah. old every month they're like 20 enough. you know take pictures because at the yeah. end of the day that's all we got is pictures. You, guys are, you guys are way better about that now i feel like you guys take photos yeah, we, yeah we have a lot of photos now but i feel like i would love to go back to when we first started dating in 2010 yeah. and get those photos of Concerts we went to together, we both had a red hair at the same time. No way. Yeah. <laughs> a mohawk, red hair, yeah. a red mohawk. Wow. So I just like think Maybe about- Maybe I'll post it on our story. I feel like I just- You know, you know. If I, if we could just go back, I wish we would have taken way more that's photos. That's a good, that's a good one. I like that tip, that's a- Cause we have a lot of cool look at yourself. memories together. Yeah. Cause you know, thankfully if it, uh, hopefully if it does last, you know, your relationship, um, you can look back on that and it's a beautiful thing and not mm. only that you got to think about the future You want to show those pictures to your kids. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I don't want to show on my Instagram <laughs> You know what I mean? How many of these pictures go on my IG? Just yeah. go on my IG. I have Josh Leva, Scroll. That, <laughs> that, that also makes me want to go on there and like save a lot of photos. Yeah, yeah for sure yeah. Um, so we don't have too much time left, but I, let's just do like three more questions okay. and let's kind of go through them kind of quick Okay, um, if Banda Machos was not available, who would you have? Uh, who would have who would have had why can't I talk? Who would have been option two? I'll go first. I would love to have like Los Tucanes. That would have been <laughs> sick. But they're really expensive, so they're <laughs> out of my budget. But uh, I swear to you, I swear to you, and Karen knows this, since we've met, Banda Machos has been my shit. Yeah. And all my friends' shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, to me, they're, they're my favorite. Yeah. I swear to God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Beauty Bird and, and uh, Val Valentin had um, their kids about these ba yeah the baptism and the birthday parties uh-huh and they had a banda machos there too oh no i way. was like yeah sick <laughs> yeah. and this was way before our wedding that's how we wow. got that's how we got the, the contact the contact number of like how to book them because we were like they were so good honestly i'll be real with you at that baptism i was long gone at yeah me and yasmin both at 9 30 gone gone yeah. i don't remember <laughs> do you don't remember i was enough. asleep <laughs> i fell asleep in in the car <laughs> <laughs> but if I didn't have them, I would either have like Los Tucanes or, or Los them? Angeles Azules. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Uh, Los Tucanes, no, I know how much they are though. I have people in the, yeah. I have friends in the music industry and they, I, I, know. I know. How much are they? Yeah. I think they're over a hundred grand. Yeah. Like, oh my God. For like, 90 minutes. And by the way, this was another question too that I got that I think it was on YouTube actually. It says, how long did we have Banda Machos for? It was 90 minutes. And I think it's perfect. And actually. It's, a certain, it, it's a certain price for 90 minutes. And that was perfect. Money. It was yeah. insanely good. Yeah. You carrying yeah. anybody? Uh, yes, I do have. She's like Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry, sorry, I got text. Um, for me, I think Tucanes would have been really, <laughs> Tucanes would have been really cool, but you already know who I wanted. Who? Banda de Recodo. Oh, oh yeah, they, that would have been, been That's sick. who I like. Was like, wow, this would have been a dream. But that's just like initially who I was like thinking. I'm like, yeah. oh, we gotta go that route. Yeah. But that's a big ass banda. Those dudes are like 30, 40. <laughs> Marvin, Marvin. <laughs> if that, you get married, who would you, who would you, who would you want? It doesn't <sighs> even have to be like banda. It can be like anything. Yeah. Mm. I've always wanted banda at my wedding. Yeah, banda. I, I don't know. I don't think about it. I've never thought about it. I never. I, I didn't. I didn't do. I've learned so much being a part of the wedding. Like it's honestly opened up my mind to like, okay, how things are gonna work and how things could look and stuff. It's crazy. So. F banda machos. We already got the contact. <laughs> yeah, like, and I, 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 can we run it back? Hey yo, <laughs> I'll put the. I'll put a stage and everything, bro. Yeah. I know all everything now. Tell me. Yeah, Seb has handled like. I remember him being on the phone. Certain things that I was like, I can't. Yeah. I like, I don't, you deal with this because I couldn't. Yeah. And he handled everything. Honestly, they, 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 they were now. such a great time, dude. And like I was telling you, it's not just about them because I love their music, but like the way they were interacting with everybody and they just created such a vibe. They really yeah. set the tone for the rest of the wedding, dude. I and I think that's important. I was yeah. going to also say too, with like wedding I think party. that's important. 
with wedding planning. <laughs> the way you said that. I think that's important. I feel like I got a lot of, a lot of questions that were like, how did you and Sebas split the time with planning? Did you do it all? Did he do anything? Did he, did he do this? And this, I saw this question a while ago. So to answer that, it's like I had, I was the one doing certain stuff, but he handled a lot of things that I don't think I would have had any clue on how to do that. Like you handled all catering, um, uh, banda, the stage, lighting, music, stage, like, lighting, all the oh. stuff that I don't think I would have been able yeah. to. You're dealing with like other stuff with the wedding planner. But yeah. then can you see him dealing with the flowers? Probably nah, not. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I have no, like, He's, what am yeah, I gonna do? Yeah. Yeah, he hears a spreadsheet of all the peonies <laughs> and uh, peonies. <laughs> no, so it's like always good to have that balance where like yeah, each one could take control yeah. of something because yeah. you need as like you need that help when you're getting for married. Sure. Like for sure. you need direction in certain things, and I I couldn't even handle. Damn. Yeah, I would see the messages about the stage, and I'm like, get me off this fucking yeah, chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't with this chat. Yeah. It was fun though, man. Like. <laughs> I learned perfect. a lot. Yeah. He's a pro now. I yeah. mean, yeah. our future kids' birthday parties, he's going to be God. down and all that stuff. Damn. I'm going to hit you up, my Manda, man. just better hook it up. They better. <laughs> was there a recalentado the next day? I'll answer this. Yes, it was very important to me to have a recalentado the next day. I rented an Airbnb in Santa Clarita, because I know you guys want to know. It was called The Dome. It was kind of like out the way, but it was really cool because it's the only place where like my family can fit and my friends. And they had like cabanas and stuff. Yeah. And I got Posoleria uh, Doña Ana, which is right here. And I think it's Panorama City. Bomb. Panorama City. And they have birria, they have carnitas, mm, they have quesatacos, pozole. pozole, menudo. That restaurant over there is insane. So shout out to Doña Ana. They always show love. Yeah. Their food is insane. I've taken my mom. My mom is an immigrant from El Pueblo. <laughs> <laughs> she knows what tastes good. Yeah. She knows all that. And so does my dad and all my family. And, and so does her family. And I'm assuming your family, oh, yeah. too. We know what my, tastes my good as picky. Mexicans. Oh, really? Picky was for, we, she, took, like, we took my family there. They, they still talk about it. It's so, <laughs> it's so freaking good. Ale comi put us on that spot, too. Uh -huh. that bomb. Comida casera. It's, they have the best sazon. It's Posoleria so Doña Ana. Follow them on Instagram. Bomb. It's no, insane. If the you food. guys go there, like my favorite thing to get there is the pozole because the the broth alone, everything has so much flavor. But they have these salsas to put in there, like a salsa. What's it called? Like a salsa matcha. Yeah. Uh, like an oil salsa, and then this other one that is so spicy. It's insanely spicy, but it's so good. I can't stop eating it. And then when you're waiting, they give you tortillas, the maíz with beans and cheese on there, just to have while you yeah. like wait around yeah. for a table. I, that alone, I'm like dead. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. this is so good. <laughs> Everything is That's good. That's cool that they do that. But the next door, they also sell like fruit. So they make oh. like bionicos. And yeah, but it's oh, theirs too. Wow, yeah, it's so it's good. It's there too. It's oh, theirs too. Sick. They have bionicos, escamochas, aguas frescas, like smoothies, like uh, los verdes. Yeah. Stuff like that. So it's it's really good. They got it all. They, they got that corner dialed oh, yeah. in. Yeah. yeah. And there's always so much people there. The next day, sorry, the next day after the wedding, I was going to say though, I was after I ate that like took me out. I was yeah. I slept for a few hours yeah. like on this cabana bed. Yeah. I took so many shots and I couldn't even. Ca I'm like I can't catch yeah. a fade anymore. Yeah. Like, you have to have a recalentado. Like there's so much to. energy. You yeah, gotta kick it the yeah, next day. Yeah. Everyone's there. You know yeah. we were chilling. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was such an amazing time. That house yeah. was super cool. Like I said, it's called the Dome. You can actually rent. That I didn't spot. realize it was a house. It was so big. I thought it, it was, was huge. I didn't think yeah. it was a house. No, it wasn't a house. It was like a compound. No, baby, it's a house. Someone lives there? Yeah. But with it's like with the parking spots outside yes, like that? Yes, yes, it's crazy. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, it's three stories. Damn. Yeah, I just didn't rent that part out. Gotcha. I rented you know. yeah. <laughs> my nephew. <laughs> Do you remember what he said? What? Andy. What are you saying? When he because he saw we were only outside and he wanted to like go into the house. I'm like, oh no, you can't go past this part. He goes, Did you guys have enough money to rent the inside? <laughs> Do you remember? After just having a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Little ten year old, I was like, Excuse me. I'm like, you're lucky your dad's there. I'll just give you one of these. Hard. <laughs> I was dying. Um, no, but yeah, I had that. And then, like I said, uh, they came through and they gave us quesa tacos and Fire. pozole. Everything was delicious. And then I just so had hungry. chelas and, and, you know, yeah. and alcohol. And yeah. I mean, what else do we need? That was that's perfect. It. It, was and it was cool. Perfect. And music. It was perfect. And that's cool. But yeah, I did that. Uh, that is all the time we have left for today. Karen, Ooh, that's it? Karen Sari Robles. That's it? Thank you so much. Uh, that, that was like the fastest hour and a half yeah. to ever... Ever go. I know. You know I keep it short so you can come back. Ooh. <laughs> it's like when you go to fine I'm dining book, and they I'm just serve you a little bit. Month. I'm booking this month. Get out of here. All right. There was one more. There was one more. Two. Do one more. Do one can more. Can you guys French kiss on the podcast? <sighs> yeah. I remember seeing this one. Yeah. This was a highly requested <laughs> one, Karen. <Stop> <laughs> so a little like, peg. A little peg. Are we married? Uh, so. Uh, no, so. I know. I don't trust his ass. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it later. <laughs> Josh Lewa, I am so honestly Hell like episode, man. 
I'm so glad you like your gift, though. I love my gift. I love my gift. You're my boy, G. Hey, and you know what's cool? Like, being a part of the wedding, I, I get a special... I'm reading the questions like I know he's right. <laughs> I got a special seat because I also got to be a part of the wedding, and then I got some, like, BTS of the wedding and, like, things I didn't know, even oh, though I was there. Yeah, yeah, so it was cool right. for me to, like, yeah. hear all that. Yeah. Love that. Thank well, you. Well, thank you guys for having me. This is fun. We got to have you back, girl, of course. I'll come back in, like, a few months. Y'all let me know. Maybe, I, maybe we'll get you one of these. No, I don't know. You, maybe. You, uh, <laughs> the next time you come back, we should have um, you and Ale. Love that. That'd be cool. Because Ale has a lot of because as much as like all the information that you gave, and I'm sure you can still give so much more information about like being a bride and what you expect, mm -hmm. tips, helping out. There's another story to this about bridesmaids and the maid of honor and things to do. There's a lot of people that they get chosen to be maid of honor or, or a best man and, she's and they don't know what to do. I don't know what to she's, do. She's slayed being a maid of honor. She slayed the bachelorette trip, like taking control of everything. Wow. Wow. Just little things, so I think that would be good. That's really cool. So I think Ali should, should come on. I know she's living her best life right now. But she don't got time for us right now. Yeah. <laughs> what you but we'll, like? we'll hit her up. I literally just, I just thought about the tapoki she's eating right now in Korea. I'm like, damn. Yeah, she she looks fire. Oh my God, the food. It looks crazy. Yeah. I'm so hungry too. I like, love Asian cuisine, so I know I love it. It's like my second it. next to Mexican. Same. I love it. It's same. Mexican and Asian cuisine. Same. Yeah, same, love Asian same, cuisine. Same. Mine's Mexican. Italian? Uh, it was Italian. It is now more Asian. And then it's Italian. always been Asian. Yeah. Asian Mexican, is just so diverse, Asian man. Asian and Italian food. Yeah. Top three. I just love bread too, though. I do too. Process. I'm a carb guy. Big carb guy. Oh, Big I'm hungry. Let's, Big go carb. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. Big, Big carb. carb. Let's go eat. Big, Big carb. carb. <laughs> this is so fucking annoying. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Episode 97, Spotify or Apple Podcasts are here on the beautiful world of YouTube. Once yes, again, sir. I am. We are your host, Sebastian Robles and the Josh Leva. Maybe Happy one year. Happy <laughs> one year. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. Love y'all. Where the cats at? <laughs> <laughs> Play.